what did the Buddha teach the big problems uh, here? There is official promoted history all over the earth with many parts distorted. Hinduism is patriarchal, no doubt about it. So too is Christianity, Islam, Sikhism and Shintoism, Jainism and Judaism. What about Buddhism? Is it uh, the first religion that comes to mind when you talk about the hatred of females? Yet if uh, Kutama was an Afro uh, priest, women would be at the top in many areas. The assumption is that Buddhism is rational, modern, agnostic and liberal in matters of gender and sexuality as well as philosophy. But the vitriol from their book is shocking. One of the most popular Buddhists of the time is the former Dalai Lama, who is seen here with uh, Hara in his life. And Hara was connected with the Nazis. And he has always been having problems to iron out and clearly to identify his uh, relationship with the Nazis. Over the last uh, 15 years, the number of Buddhist temples and centers in the United States has more than doubled to well over a thousand. Even in Europe, Buddhism, which was in negative growth, is now increasing. In North America, it's increasing. Of uh, these Buddhists, half have postgraduate degrees, according to one survey, which means they are educated, they are smart people, they read, they research. Recently, convergences between Buddhism and science have been explored in many books including Zen and the brain and the psychology of awakening. Global estimates shows that the numbers of Buddhists around the world is expected to increase uh, between uh, 2010 and 2030, rising from 488 million to almost half a billion. You can go on this website and read all this information. Buddhism is essentially uh, brought forth as a peaceful tradition uh, with most martial arts associated with it and traditions with very strong spiritual and philosophical elements. And it also comes up as the most peaceful in many surveys and debates. You can study uh, from that. All this day, all this information points to a very great uh, religion. This spiritual by Elam Tumizulu on is Africa missing out. Who was the Buddha? What did he teach? Why are you not a Buddhist? Or why are you a Buddhist? Why are intellectuals attracted to it? So who was a Buddha? There was absolutely no person like this or any records who portray Buddha as Aryan or white like this. Why? Why then do we have this as Buddha? The idea that Buddha was a human being and a man is wrong. Again, the identity of his race is also an error. The word Buddha itself denotes not a single religious teacher. Just like the term president refers not to just one man or woman, but to everyone or anyone who has ever held the office of presidency. Buddha Siddhartha Gautama or Kutama is simply one member of the spiritual lineage of Buddhas which stretches back into the dim recess of the dark past of human history. Where was he born? What was his race? Many early European scholars wrote facts of what they actually saw. Out of that, the African origins of culture, religion, and morality clearly with its African reality comes out. Today, these scholars of ancient history are being systematically discredited and purged by racist, Eurocentric, supremacist, and scholars. Bear this fact in mind always as we look at Buddhism and how a group of African priests spread African truths throughout the world and Asia. This will be made apparent and clear for those with ears to hear. Do you know it was Africans who first inhabited China and the Near East who began the first Chinese and Asian civilization. They are pictorial evidence. There is pictorial proof. The thick lips, the big nose, the dolcephatic chin and the hair. You know the Omecs? They look exactly like that. Keystone story of you of Chinese boys plowing a field in 1930. They are African, but they are no longer there. What happened? Gautama 
whose name really is Kutama, was a Bantu, born in Nepal in the 6th century BCE. Afro civilization was already old. You can see the pictures of the ancient Black Buddha here. He was a revolutionary, a freedom fighter, a prince who fought against these people, the Euro Aryan Hindu, of which that Nazi fella was and other German expedition during the Nazi time went to investigate. These are the people, original people of India, the Dravidians, they look like that, they are African. You go to this in group and you see all this and read about that. The key to the Buddhist or to the Buddha or to Gautama or Kutama is with the ears and this uh, African face. This is a Maasai. This is Buddha. You see the ears are long here, big. And you see the Maasai, they are long. That's an African tradition. Even the Ngunis used to put holes around their uh, ears and dangle uh, earrings. There are absolutely no historical records that portray Buddha as an Aryan or white. According to many other European writers who are now being systematically dismantled, uh, Gerard Massey, a European scholar, it is certain that the Black Buddha of India was imagined in the Negro type, in the Negro god, whether called Buddha or Sutnahasi or Nehesi, who have a data, which means the standard. They carry their color in the proof of their origin. The people who first fashioned and worshipped the divine image in the Negro mold of humanity must, according to all knowledge of human nature, have been Negroes themselves. For blackness is not merely mystical. The features and hair of Buddha belong to the black race. And Nehesi or Nasi, the Negro, you go to volume uh, one page of uh, a book of beginnings, you read about that. Godfrey Higgins, also one writer who wrote the book Anacalypsis, wrote the originals of all the gods have always been of the black race. The ancient viewed the sacred image of the divine as black. So God or the creator was black. And woolly hair was a sign of divinity called the hair of the gods. Straightforward, clear, do not doubt your eyes. The religion of Buddha of India is well known to have been very ancient in the most ancient temples scattered throughout Asia where his worship is yet continued. He is found black as jet with a flat face, thick lips and curly hair, a negro. This is from William Jones, uh, uh, say William Jones who wrote all about that. So it's quite clear that something is wrong. On the other hand, there arises some thought-provoking philosophies out of Buddhism. The Buddha also taught the Four Noble Truths. The first Noble Truth is that all life includes suffering. That's not very systematic. The second Noble Truth is that suffering comes from wanting things one doesn't have. That's not, again, very squarely African. The third Noble Truth is that people can avoid suffering if they end their selfish desires. That's a little bit correct. The fourth Noble Truth is that the way to overcome selfish desires is to follow the eightfold path. What is the eightfold path then? Is of right views correct, right resolve correct, right speech correct, right action correct, right level correct, right effort correct, right mindfulness correct, and right con concentration. Buddhism characteristically describes reality in terms of process and the relation rather than entity or substance. There is an Africanness in this because all these eightfold path and all these noble truths came from somewhere which we shall demonstrate. The exact answer that is data Kautama or Buddha found is not even entirely clear to Buddhists today. They still debate about it over the word Nirvana, whether the word comes from meaning blown out, snuffed out or anything. It gives the idea of extinction or cessation. That's not African. That's why you should not be a Buddhist or based on that. Buddhist scriptures, especially the rules of monastic uh, discipline, Vinaya Pitaka, are totally not an African philosophy. What happened? How did this come about? Some few verses will illustrate the point. The hatred of females is totally un African. In the tale of Sudina, a young monk breaks his vows of celibacy after his old parents beg him to give his wife, whom he had abandoned, a child so that his family lineage may continue, which is African. When this is reviewed, the Buddha admonishes him thus, It is better for you to have put your manhood in the mouth of a venomous snake or a pity of burning charcoal than a woman. That's not African.
In one conversation, the Buddha states, Of all the saints that can enslave, none is more lethal than that of a woman. Of all the tests that can enslave, none is more lethal than that of a woman. Of all the voices that can enslave, none is more lethal than that of a woman. Of all the caresses that can enslave, none is more lethal than that of a woman. That's not African. Something wrong happened. Something else happened there. Buddha makes his half-brother Nanda join the monastic order, but Nanda is engaged to marry the most beautiful woman in the land and pines after her. So Buddha shows him celestial nymphs who live in the heaven of 33 gods. 33 gods. Squagger of Hindu Puranas. Buddha asks Nanda if his fans is as beautiful as these nymphs. And Nanda says she is like a deformed monkey compared to these nymphs. Buddha says that if he continues to walk the path of Dharma, he would be reborn in this heaven and able to enjoy these nymphs. Spared by this no thought, Nanda actively and diligently engages in monastic practices. By the time he attains enlightenment, all desires for the nymphs and the fires are gone. So, what's the, what's the issue here? Now, you can go to this website and study about all this because this is not explained by many. The teaching heavily was tempered with the Buddha's teaching. Buddhism is supposed to de-emphasize the supernatural notions such as immortal soul and God. These are basically bound to traditional beliefs. They can't be removed. Why are they destroyed? Did Buddha teach all this? Who wrote the Buddhist holy books? Buddha is now shown as a pragmatist who eschewed metaphysical speculation and focused on reducing human sufferings. Oh no! Was there no suffering then? Core teachings are proving to be very illusory. Buddhist teaching. Buddhist meditation can actually exacerbate depression, anxiety, and other negative emotions in certain people. Why? Because they have been tempered with. Who tempered with these teachings? So the Bantu is the Ba, and the soul is this flesh. That's clear. That's straightforward. That's the identity of you is the soul you cannot remove that teaching it is africa the buddha if he was black if he had come from ethiopia he would have taught it that without any watering down so someone changed it we are going to prove it now in this uh, conclusion did you know the first and original buddha was black shown here. The first people who conceptualized and worship the divine images of the Negro mold of humanity were the Negroes and they actually started the practice of Buddhism. Buddha was an enlightened master from the Sakya clan of the Naga race, Negro race, and was the first man on earth to preach the great principles of equality, liberty, and fraternity. Right, so he would not teach anything against women, so someone put it there. He caused the Nagas to become conscious of their own mind power as opposed to the mantra power. Buddhism, whose doctrines include the golden rule, treat others as you wish to treat them. Yourself was established 500 years before Christianity in the area now called Northeast Africa. Buddha is not a name but a title of a legend one. Become aware over the centuries. There have been several Buddhists. You go to study this and you find that these black people migrated from Ethiopia and established that. So, in, in summary of what really happened, eventually the Brahman, the Aryans, succeeded in overcoming the Buddhists in India and used the same strategy they have used to lay claim to the Buddhist religion, while at the same time destroying their temples and pushing the original adherents out of India. Around 260, many Buddhists were forced to flee to Thailand, Vietnam, and China. Tibet and Tibet, where we have seen the Dalai Lama picking up these traditions and neighboring countries throughout Asia. The history of these black holy men throughout Asia explains the affinity experienced by the 20th century African-American soldiers who fought in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War. The point here is that generations who struggled under physical, mental and spiritual slavery in India is the reason why images of the black freedom fighters like Buddha as well as black Buddhist monks show up throughout Asia and China where Buddha's death disciples Bodhidharma was to visit many years later. This then is the untold story of Buddha, his times and his path towards liberation known as Zen or Zano or Chan Buddhism. This is the history of the philosophy that has so profoundly influenced the practice and development of martial arts in Asia and around the world. 
Only centuries later, when Buddhism gets introduced outside of China, the Buddha takes on the Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and other Asian features that we associate with him at present. However, for the record, let it be known that Buddha, the first and original Buddha, was a black man. So the Aryans changed that, put in their own twist. 5,000 years before common era, the negative confessions hail to the great divine lord of the two truths i have come unto my lord that thou mayest bring me to see thy beauty that is 5000 years bce 600 years bce later about 5400 years later we hear the noble truth in buddhism right understanding right thought right speech right action right love to right effort right mindfulness right concentration all came from africa source of all religions and spirituality is africa all religions are based on african spiritual practice buddhism actually started in africa then into indian continent the first inhabitants were black people who had migrated from ethiopia some fifty thousand years earlier establishing what is known as the indus valley civilization there are two types of blacks from africa who created the first civilization of mankind in india one was the nubian who had broad features and woolly nappy hair while the other had the aquiline nose with the straight hair the dravidian but both were early descendant of people straight out of black africa they had only one holy book which you should read the book of coming forth by a day in conclusion therefore who was buddha buddha was a bantu priest known as kutama or hautama what did he teach he taught bantuism or hamit mysteries why are you not a buddhist because you are the original you cannot be a copycat you follow the real deal hamit mystery systems why are intellectuals attracted to it? Because the brand told you today is closer to atheism and Arianism. Is Africa missing out? Yes, big time. Our heritage is being abused. It's time for restoration. It's time for you to become a member of a secret society that promotes African as or Bantu philosophy. Subscribe to our channel, Hamidi Iburu Ethics, and contact us on this. Thank you. Goodbye.